that was just a song that he put out there for fun. And yeah. I'm, I'm doing it for fun. I have fun making songs, but I'm trying to make them all mean something or like affect someone in some way. And, mm -hmm. and they help me channel like my anxieties and like I put creativity out into the world or whatever and mm -hmm. I focus on that and it, it takes away some of my like negative thoughts and feelings because I get to put it out there. I get to get it off my chest. Scotty Sire makes a lot of music about his depression and being depressed, but is he actually depressed? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. But I also like to increase awareness and decrease the stigma. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So my beautiful and wonderful girlfriend, she recommended that I watch this new episode or video uh, that Brandon, I don't know if his last name is pronounced Calvillo or Calvillo, um, but he drives around in cars with other YouTubers and talks and this was like, you know, talking to uh, Scotty Sire about depression, right? And she told me to watch it and then she had some gripes with it and she wanted to know my thoughts. And I'm like, okay, but if I watch this, I'm probably gonna wanna make a video. So here's where we are. And something that she brought up that I'll try to touch on again uh, later in this video is, she was saying it, it almost feels like he's afraid to let go of this depressed guy thing or depression because it's become part of his identity, right? And that's definitely something that we need to take a look at because it might be something that you're struggling with. And again, if, if you're new to my channel or you've been watching my videos and haven't gotten the point yet, like this video isn't about Scotty, it's about you, okay? So one of the things is, like I'm, I can make like 50 videos on this, but one of the things that I'll, I'll, I'll try to narrow it down to a few topics. One of them is, is like not getting excited, right? Not getting excited about different things, okay? Like not being like, oh, okay. So they, they have a conversation about going out and partying. So Scotty Sire, for those of you who don't know, he's, uh, you know, part of the little friend group of like David Dobrik and all these guys who are always doing like wild and zany stuff, right? Sometimes, I mean, I know I have friends that get really excited to go party and like, mm. I try to get excited too and I, I mean, I do. Let's make it like three guys. One guy doesn't want to go to the party. The other two guys are like, well, what the hell's wrong with him? Like there must be, he must be like depressed. And he doesn't get excited. He doesn't get excited like other people do. Like, I'm just letting you all know, like, if you don't want to go out and party, that doesn't mean that you have depression. It doesn't mean that you're depressed. Like, that's not what that means. Like. There is a such thing as people being introverts. Like some people just don't like to go out. Some people don't like to socialize. Now it does sound like Scotty definitely has some kind of anxiety disorder and I'm not here to diagnose or anything like that, all right? But from some of his experiences, I don't know, um, you know, if, if he still has it, but you know what, we'll save the next part for when we talk about therapy. But I just want all of you to know, like, it doesn't make you a depressed person if you aren't at the same energy level as other people. Like myself, Tristan, other people I hang out with, like, we just chill, like, we just chill. And I think part of it is just as you get older, but I've been like this for a while now, since before I was even 30, where I just like, I like staying in, I like chilling, like, it doesn't mean I'm depressed. Well, I just, yeah, I mean, it's hard, because I, I, I wanna, like, be like, well, you should get excited for these things. Like, you should get excited to go to, like, Disneyland. You should get excited when, like, you see like a puppy. <laughs> I don't either. So, in that clip right there, like, Brandon, like, drops, like, a million shoulds in a row. Like, should, 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 right? And right before that, um, Scotty was talking about should, you know, should get excited. And he talks about when he was a kid, you know, this and that. And, like, you know, these things didn't excite him, okay? So, this is why I'm a huge, huge advocate for meditation. So, part of meditation and mindfulness meditation specifically is, like, watching your mind for judgments, right? Like, anytime you use the word should, that's like a judgment, that's like an expectation, right? So one of the issues that a lot of us have, and Scotty talks about this regularly, uh, about how insecure he is, and the issue that a lot of us struggle with is comparing ourselves to others, right? Like we look around at other people like, you know, they're getting excited, I should be excited, right? They're getting happy, I should be happy. And we often don't take into consideration the fact that A, we're not them, B, they might be faking it, right? This is one of the reasons why social media makes so many people sad, depressed, or comparing themselves, or whatever it is, because we, we sit in this world of shoulds, right? Like, 
where like this is why like meditation helps kind of declutter your brain and like get down to the root of it like who said you should be happy about this right like who should be happy right so we all have our different we're all wired differently like for example i was just talking to somebody about how i went to corgi beach day for my birthday and like i get extremely excited when i see little corgis waddling around with their little fluffy butts all over the place right look at him don't not everybody gets as excited as I do. But on the other hand, like my girlfriend, for example, she doesn't get excited over everything, but if a cat shows up, she turns into like a kid in the candy store. Loves cats, you see what I mean? So like, something I want all of you to start working on is like, quit comparing yourself to others, especially when it comes to emotions. You know, like, that's just, it's not fair to you. That's not, that's, you shouldn't do that, right? I just use the word should. But um, one of my meditation teachers, like, every time I use the word should, he would point it out to me. He pointed out how many times I said should, okay? That is, that is judgmental, that is, um, like, you're judging yourself, and it's also, it's also putting these weird expectations. Like, where do these expectations even come from? But now let's talk about therapy. Let's talk about therapy. Like this, oh my God, I like paused it. I paused it and I texted Tristan. I'm like, what the heck is happening? So like, right here, just, I want you to pay attention to how Brandon says this. You haven't like, this is weird <laughs> now. You haven't like gone to, I don't want to say gone to therapy because I mean, I don't, I don't think you need it. All right, like, man, like I, I really like, when I'm trying to like, I don't know, decrease the stigma, I, I'm always, worried that I'm gonna come off all like snowflakey, if you will. But if you listen to how Brandon asked that question, it's like stigmatizing therapy, right? Like he's like, he's like, I, I, like, you can see how uncomfortable he is. Like, do you go to therapy? And then he immediately says, I don't think you need to go to therapy, right? And I'm just like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, one of the reasons that a lot of people don't go to therapy is because people talk about therapy like that. Like, listen to me very carefully. You don't need to be insane to go to therapy. You don't need to be suicidal to go to therapy. Like, therapy is about helping you have a better life, okay? Like, I was, <laughs> I was texting Tristan, I'm like, one of the reasons, like, these guys live in, you know, in this, this state is because they're just surrounded by each other, right? Comparing themselves to one another and, you know, they're getting, like, bad feedback from each other. Like, a therapist is an objective point of view. So, Scotty mentioned that he tried therapy when he was 19. Now, he didn't go too in depth on this, right? He didn't talk about it too much. But he says that they, they gave him three different antidepressants, uh, and he actually sings about it in one of his songs. It was like Zoloft, Prozac, and Lexapro, right? All antidepressants. And I don't know what his situation was like back then. I don't know how old he is now, but one thing I will say, there's a few things I want to talk about with that, his experience with therapy. One of them is, I, I would think more than anything that it brought up the problem with over-medicating, right? The problem that we have with over-medicating people. Like, just because you don't get excited, like, <laughs> one, of the, one of the symptoms, one of the symptoms of depression, and you need to have multiple symptoms to be diagnosed with depression. One of the symptoms of depression is not having enjoyment in things that you used to enjoy, right? And when I'm, and I'm not a clinician, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychiatrist, but when I'm watching somebody to see if they might be struggling with depression, like I watched them and there were multiple times throughout this where I saw Scotty having fun. Okay, so again, I'm gonna circle back to maybe this is part of his identity, okay? So I think this spoke more, just in my opinion, to the over-medication problem. Like, if you walk into a doctor's office or whatever and you say like, I don't have excitement like other people do, then they're like, here, try these medications, right? Like, it's crazy. But the other thing that he talks about, and he doesn't dive deep into this, was the therapist told me a bunch of stuff that I don't, uh, that, no, he said, the therapist told me a bunch of things that I already know. It was really difficult. Like, I had to drive there. I didn't feel comfortable driving there. I got, like, claustrophobic and anxious as soon as I was in the office. Mm -hmm. I talked to the person, and, like, the person would be great. You know, we talked about it, and then I'd leave, and I'd be like, well, they told me that I know, basically. Mm -hmm. I so right now, I want to give a huge shout out to Daily. Uh, she's been subscribed to my channel, and she's actually from my hometown. But anyways, she went way back, way back in my uh, library of videos, and she found a video I made called Common Sense Versus Common Action. I'm actually gonna link it in the info card. I'm also gonna share it 
in the community tab, common sense versus common action. Like, for example, it's common sense that I should go to the gym. It's common sense that I, could, I should quit smoking, right? It's common sense that people should go to therapy. It's common sense that people should meditate. Like, common sense doesn't do you any good. It's the action that you have to take. So like, going to see a therapist, like, cause I hear this all the time. I worked in treatment centers. I work with uh, people over, trying to overcome addiction and struggle with mental illness. And they're always like, I know, I know, I know. I don't care. I don't care how much you know, and I'm talking to you watching this. I don't care how many books you read, how much knowledge you have in your brain. If you're not doing anything with it, then what's the point? Common sense versus common action. And by the way, check out the description and join our Facebook group because it's phenomenal because people are talking about the problem but focusing on the solution and keeping each other accountable. We aren't in there just talking about the things we should do, we talk about the things that we are doing and it's going phenomenal so far. So like if you're in therapy and you're just like, and you're sitting there and you're just like, oh I already know, I know, I know, then do something with it, right? Like how many people do you know where they're like, they know they should quit dating scumbag guys or you know dating like certain women they know they shouldn't but they keep doing it anyways so that just really rubbed me the wrong way aside from just like kind of how they like talk about therapy like oh i don't think you need therapy if you want to if, if you want me to be honest like i think most people need therapy it's hard for me to think of anybody who doesn't need therapy like just going through my little rolodex of people i know i can't think of anybody who doesn't need therapy you know how many people like Okay, you want some examples of who needs therapy? Check down in the comments below. Check down in the comments below of any of my videos and try to tell me you don't come across dozens if not hundreds of people who need therapy, okay? So therapy needs to be something that we just talk about. It's like going to you know, the doctor or whatever it is. Like we just need to get our minds right. So many times we have this like bad perception. So certainly back to you know, Scotty and you know, is depression part of his identity? That's something a lot of people struggle with, especially musicians. It's especially musicians, right? So I was telling Tristan, like, before I even watched the interview in the car, I started going down this rabbit hole of like, who's Scotty, like, what's he do? And I started listening to some of his songs. And then in the beginning of the interview, they like referenced his new album. And a lot of it is just talking how much you don't like yourself. And I'm like listening and I'm watching this and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm like, okay, because there's a part where he asks Scotty if he thinks that he's depressed. Scotty says no, all right? Like with all the things that you see like online, like all the characteristics of what a depressed person would be and act like, would you consider yourself that? Would you consider yourself kind of a more of a depressive? I mean, I don't think I'm depressed. I think I think I get sad sometimes mm -hmm. more often than others. I think mm -hmm. I'm a little more sensitive than some people. So like, is this something that he keeps going like? This is something that a lot of us have to ask ourselves. I made a video not that long, uh, not that long ago about this fear of change. We're afraid to let go of that part of us, right? Like, I, I felt like my drug and alcohol addiction was a part of me. If I'm not the party guy, if I'm not the wild, crazy party guy, then who I, am I? And that's something that kept me sick for a very long time. So like, I want you to ask yourself that. I want you to ask yourself like, or do you have this fear of change? Like, do you feel like you're gonna lose a piece of yourself if you get better? You know, like that's kind of a that's kind of a wacky fear to have. Like, afraid to get better because you're losing something. No, don't think about it as losing something. Think about how much you'll gain. All right. So yeah, um, I think Scotty needs therapy. I think Brandon needs therapy. If you're watching this, you probably need therapy. Everybody needs therapy. <laughs> and now you think I'm gonna plug BetterHelp, but then I'm gonna have people coming in here and be like, oh my God, you still promote BetterHelp? So I'm just not even gonna mention the BetterHelp link down in the description, where if you would like to work with an affordable online licensed therapist, you can, like my girlfriend and so many others do. I'm just not even gonna say that, okay? All right, but anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. Let me know down in the comments, do you feel that Maybe your mental illness uh, has become part of your identity. Are you afraid to change? Are you afraid to let go of it? Do you feel like sometimes you play into it more? Or let me know down in the comments, like 
do you judge yourself based on your feelings of, of whether you feel or don't feel certain things? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. We got a couple new names up here and it's amazing. And if you would like to support the channel, make sure you click or tap on that link right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.